I'm back again with yet another beauty makeup look. Today we are trying out Douyin makeup, or maybe I should say Xiaohongshu makeup. Today's a get ready with me as I attempt to create my own version of the Douyin slash Little Red Book makeup looks. And I think this makeup look turned out so cute. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. It makes me really feel like a little doll or something. And I feel like it's so cute for the summertime. And yeah, I love this look a lot. I hope you guys do too. And I wanted to quickly give a huge shout out to YesSell for sponsoring this video. I actually got $500 worth of products from their website. And so I have so much new makeup and skincare to try out. Today is a makeup focused video, but I will be showing you guys some of their skincare later on. If you don't know, YesSell is a huge online retailer. They will supply you with all of your needs for East Asian skincare and makeup. They even have apparels. I cannot wait to introduce you guys to these new products that I have tried for this makeup look. I love this look so much, I'm kind of dying over it right now and if you want to see how I got ready and created this look and unboxed some new makeup, then just keep on watching. So like I said in the intro, I have a bunch of new stuff from Yesai. In fact, it's $500 worth of makeup and skincare. I'm not even gonna lie, I can't even remember all of the stuff that I bought because there's just so much of it. So let's just dig in and see what we've got. So the hair is out of the way and I'm gonna go in and start it off with sunscreen. Now a lot of the Korean foundations already have sunscreen in it but it never hurts to put some extra protection on especially in the summertime. The sun can get pretty rough. So. I'm starting off with the Madagascar Centella Hylou Sicko Water Fit Sunscreen. It's kind of a mouthful, but this one is SPF 50. I feel like once I have gone into SPF 50 sunscreens, I'm never gonna go back to like SPF 15. Does that even do anything? Oh, and it comes with a pump. So I'm just gonna pump a little bit onto the tip of my finger. So this is, that's what the consistency looks like two pumps to make sure that we have enough product oh my god wow do you guys see how it glides on i don't know how to describe it but this sunscreen is so silky like i've never had a sunscreen that was this texture before but it honestly glides on like silk it feels so nice on my skin and then of course you don't want to forget your neck ladies Rubbing that in. Wow, it just blends out seamlessly and it feels like silk on my skin and it doesn't feel sticky or anything at all. I feel like this is my new favorite sunscreen. I'm not even kidding. But only time will tell. So next we're gonna go in with foundation and I'm so excited about this one. It's the new Kill Cover Found Wear Cushion from Clio. And just look at this packaging. It has this little angry looking cat with a hat on it. Now my sister has already tried this compact and she's been using it the whole time she was in Korea. So I trust that it's pretty good. I've just unboxed it from the packaging and look at this. It comes with these stickers that you can decorate your little cushion with. Disclaimer, when I ordered these products, I didn't think of the fact that I was probably gonna be fake tan by the time it arrived. I feel like this might be a little bit too light for my current shade, but yeah, we're gonna see what we have to work with. Let's try it out first. Opening it up and look how cute this packaging is. It has like these little cats, oh my gosh. And then the actual pup itself, it's like a little cat paw. You guys. Little ASMR moment. Alrighty. And look, there's cat paws. This actually doesn't look that light. Oh, maybe I did get the right shade. That's crazy. All right, let's try it out. Oh, no, it's way too light. So the foundation is a little too light, but we're gonna see what we can do if I can fix that with bronzer a little bit later on. But for now, we're just testing out the product itself. So 
I mean, to be honest, it's like a perfect match to my natural skin tone, which is really great because I know that I'll be able to use it when I'm not fake tan. So right off the bat, it's definitely easy to blend. It's going on so smoothly and it's definitely evening out my skin tone without feeling heavy or cakey or anything like that. So Definitely feel like it's a really light product. It looks very light on my skin, but of course it's still evened out my skin tone quite a bit. Definitely say that it's more of a medium to light coverage. It's definitely not a full coverage. So yeah, I'll definitely reach for this when I want kind of like a light, soft makeup day, when I want my skin to shine through. It's very much a natural finish. I would say it kind of gave me a bit of a glow. It's not too, too glowy or greasy looking and I mean, certainly not matte, so that's what we look like. And I know, I'm like so orange compared to the actual shade of this foundation. No worries, we're gonna try to fix that. Before we move on further though, I wanted to try this lip oil that I got. I'm so excited. I've been loving lip oils lately. This one is the Honey and Milk Lip Oil from the brand Up Here. I think that's how you say it. And I mean, Honey and Milk, I just had to get it. Because if you know me, I love honey. That's what she looks like. Oh. Oh, she really has a sweet honey scent. Oh, I'm loving it. So it's actually a little bit thicker than a lot of the lip oils that I've tried before. And a little bit more sticky, but it definitely feels extremely hydrating. Now I'm going to try the concealer. So the concealer that I got is from the brand The Same. I'll have everything like in the description bar or written on the screen. So if I'm butchering the pronunciation, you'll see it written somewhere. But this is from The Seam. It's the Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. Oh, and this is actually SPF 28. I don't think I've ever tried a concealer with SPF in it. So I'm just gonna apply it to where I would usually apply my concealer. Like that. Oh, actually, I need to go wet my sponge, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So. I've got my damp sponge that I usually apply my concealer with. So I've dampened my sponge and this is what I've been using for all of my concealers lately. And I'm just going to start blending that out. It's blending super seamlessly. That blended out so easily and it feels super light on my skin and it definitely gave me pretty good coverage. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling flawless. It's not heavy at all. It's not cakey at all, but the coverage is definitely there. So, oh God, my legs are falling asleep. Why does this always happen? I'm gonna go in with some bronzer because we're definitely needing it. So the bronzer that I picked up is the Wake Make Mix Blurring Volume Shading Contour Powder in the shade 02 Soft Cool. And you guys know I love me a cool tone contour, especially for my nose. <gasps> the packaging is so pretty. Wow, look at this. Oh, okay, so she's kind of like a gradient. I'm gonna be using a blush brush that I have here and just apply the bronzer. Ooh. A very nice natural contour on my face and it blends out beautifully. I mean, it doesn't give any muddiness or streakiness at all. So pretty and i'm going to really try to blend that into my jawline so that my face doesn't look like it's obviously too white for the rest of my body all right we're starting to look better we're starting to look a little bit more normal 
And sometimes what I like to do is I'll take a little bit of bronzer and then I'll kind of suck in my cheeks and then contour that part. Like that, super lightly. So next I'm gonna go in with blush. I got two of these blushes by the brand Lily by Red and they are the Love Beam Cheek Balm. So one of them is coral and the other one is definitely more of a pink. I'm gonna open them both up actually. Look how cute these are, they're little hearts. I love this packaging. So I'm gonna open up the pink one. Oh, that's very pink, oh wow. Oh, and it's a balm, okay, that explains the name. So I guess this is like a cream blush. Maybe I should have tried to use this um, before the powder contour, but this one is obviously orange and this one's pink. I actually think I'm gonna go with the orange one today. I do see a lot of doing makeup looks that have more of a warm tone, orangey blush. So that's what we're gonna go with today. I'm actually just gonna try to apply this with my finger because it is a cream blush. Oh, oh, it's very pigmented. Oh my God, wow, it's so pretty. I'm gonna go in actually with a cream blush brush and just blend that out better. Okay, luckily it did not cake up or mess with the bronzer at all, so we're doing good. I'm gonna go in with the other side using my brush because it seems to be a little bit easier than using my fingers or just like faster, not easier, but faster. So I'm gonna take that on my nose and just connect that in like a W shape for my blush. I'm really going so heavy, you guys. I kind of look crazy in person, but I really want this to show up on camera so you can see how beautifully the product is blending out. I'm gonna add whatever's left on my brush onto my forehead and on my chin. Like that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love blush so much. It's so cute. If I can remember, I like to contour my nose after I apply my blush so that when I go back in with blush, it doesn't like blur out all of the contour. So I'm using that same contour shade and then I'm just going to carve out my nose. And as always, I connect that into the crease of my eye. I don't know why I feel like it's looking kind of warm on camera, but in person, it's definitely pretty cool tone. And then I just define the tip like that. Sorry if the lighting keeps changing. The sun is just coming in and out of the clouds, but now I'm gonna take a brush and just extend that contour from the crease of my eye into my temples. Just like that. I feel like I look crazy. <laughs> no worries though, because we're gonna blend this out with a flat top brush. Now moving on, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. Let's open her up. This is the Wake Make Mixed Blurring Volume Highlighter. We still have that same stunning glossy packaging. And then this is what it looks like. It's not as glittery as I expected for a highlighter. Let's try it out. So I'm gonna start off with my nose because that's my favorite thing to highlight. And I'm just applying that with my finger. I would say that this is kind of like a more natural highlighter because it's not too glittery. So it kind of like when you apply it, if you don't, of course, if you don't apply too much, then it's kind of like, is she wearing highlighter or is she just kind of naturally glowing like that? You know what I mean? I'm highlighting my nose, my inner corners as always, my brow bone and my cheekbones. So I brought you guys a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see a little bit better this way, but I actually wanted to contour my nose just a little bit more because I did see a lot of doing makeup with a very strong nose contour, especially contouring for that button nose. So I'm just gonna add a little line right across my nose like this. And this will kind of really emphasize that 
button nose effect hopefully now we're gonna move on to eyebrows so the brow pencil that i got is the mcqueen my strong eyebrow pencil i think that's what it's called yes and i got it in the shade stone gray so let's try it out you guys know that i love my pomades for my eyebrow but i'm going to see if i can make a brow pencil work pretty much all of the doing makeup tutorials that i've watched the girls are using a eyebrow pencil so this is what it looks like i'm gonna brush my eyebrows up first with a little spoolie and this also helps to clean off like excess product that you have on your brow hairs i'm gonna go for a more natural eyebrow today so not too heavy let's see how this goes So right off the bat, I will say that the pigmentation of this brow product is perfect because it's not too pigmented and it almost comes off as like a soft powder when you're applying that to your eyebrows. So it really allows me to easily create that soft eyebrow look. Wow. So I'm just brushing out my eyebrows and blending that in a little better once I have finished drawing them on. Like that. So moving on to eyes, I picked up three different eyeshadow palettes from Yes Style, and I'm gonna go ahead and unbox all of them. I'll show each of them to you, and then we're gonna decide which eyeshadows to use for our look. So the first one I have is the Pro Eye Palette in Napping Cheese, and this is also in that cute kitty line from Clio. Again, adorable packaging, comes with the stickers that I'll definitely be using later to decorate. And here's what the palette looks like. It's like a brown eyeshadow palette and it does have like a little bit of peachiness and some sparkles, some mattes, kind of like everything you need with a neutrals palette. So and can we talk about how cute this packaging is? Like, there's a cheese in this paw I'm just dying over. So the next palette is the Lily by Red Mood Keyboard Palette, like a cool tone mauve one. And again, it's got the mattes and the glitters. I feel like this one will be so pretty for fall use. And again, super cute packaging. It's like a keyboard theme. And palette number three is from, I don't know how to say this brand name, Rom and Romand, maybe? So this palette is actually completely matte. It's got some mauve-ish shade, a slight pink tone to the colors down here. Got some browns and then the lighter shades on the end here. So we're gonna start off with this palette here because I am the most excited about this one. It does come with a little brush of its own, so I'm gonna try out that brush. Usually I don't use brushes that come with eyeshadow palettes, but let's see if she's good. So I'm gonna start off with my base shade, which is gonna be this light cream shade here. And I'm just applying that all over my eyelid and blending that into the contour that we have earlier. Now I'm going to go in with this darker shade here and just start defining the outer corner and then slowly blending that in to the inner half of my eye. And I'll kind of focus on defining the fold of my eye and then dragging that out to elongate the eye shape. Like that. Now I'm going to go into the outer part of my bottom lash line. This just helps to connect the bottom with the top. I'm going to take my finger into this glitter here. It's like a gold shimmer. And I'm just going to pop that onto the center of my eye. And blend that out. Like that. I love how glitter has your eyes. I think we're just gonna stick to using this one palette for the whole eye look because it really just has everything I need. I'm gonna be using this white glittery shade here and then just going into my inner corner. I noticed that girls on doing love doing this and wow, this glitter showed up so nicely. Oh my gosh, wow. I thought maybe I would need like a white base first for it to really pop, but it's popping. Do you guys see that? Wow. 
guys, I'm obsessed. Do you see how gorgeous that looks? And I know this looks like a lot and it kind of is, but that's like the thing right now. Like so, so many of the doing makeup girls that I saw, they have a beaming white highlight on their inner corners. And I feel like this shadow right here really helped me achieve that. What do you think? Now I'm gonna go in and do something that I don't normally do and I'm actually not very good at it either, but we're gonna do our best. We're going to clean off the brush first of all. And I'm actually gonna go in and carve out my eye bag on the bottom side of my eye here. I know in Korean they call it egg yosal. I don't know if it's called the same thing for doing makeup, but yeah, we're gonna try it out. And the reason why they do this is because it really gives you more of like that cutesy eye look. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna go in with the same brown shade from earlier. Actually, maybe this one's too dark. We're not actually gonna use that. I'm too intimidated by the super dark shade. We're gonna use a lighter one. We're gonna go into this little cat paw. I'm sorry, I didn't wanna ruin this one yet, but. So I'm gonna go like this with my eyes so I can see the outline of my eye bags. Um, and I'm gonna go in with that cat paw shadow and just super lightly trace that out. Hopefully you guys can see the difference in me here. like that and then i'm actually going to go in with this light gold shimmer that we use on our upper eyelids and i'm going to define the puffed out part of my eye bag using this glitter like that. and it almost creates a contrast to make that darker contour a little bit more obvious and then the mascara that i picked up from yes style is the heroin make long up mascara in waterproof i have friends that have been raving about this mascara for years and i just never used it because i'm not really one to try new mascaras all the time because i'm a falsies girl you know but let's see how this one goes so it's definitely holding the curl which is what i needed to do really giving me length without clumping up which i'm actually quite impressed by. So the eyeliner that I'm using today is from Clio. This is their So Simple Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil and I believe this one is black. This is what she looks like. So I know that I always have a liquid wing on, but I do see a lot of girls on going using like more of a pencil liner for their eyeliner. So we're gonna try that today. Hopefully it goes well. I'm gonna first line my waterline. I always start with that. Okay, so it's very creamy. It glides on gorgeously. And my hopes are high with this eyeliner because it does claim to be waterproof and stay on really well. So I'm hoping it will really stay on my waterline without transferring throughout the day. And I'm gonna go in and create an upward wing. Okay, I thought it was gonna be really hard to do that with a non-liquid eyeliner but I think it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna thicken it just a bit. And I do like to start my eyeliner kind of past where my natural eye ends. It just makes your eyes look a little bit longer and bigger. You see? Now for my bottom lash line, I'm actually going to be going in with a brown eyeliner. This one is the Waterproof Pen Eyeliner from McQueen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to draw a slight line just on my bottom lash line here. This liner is super thin and precise, so it really gives me a lot of precision when doing this, which is exactly what I need. I only add it to the outer portion. So I basically just created a bit of liner on the outer half of my lower lash line with a brown liner and just connected that to the top wing there. I'm going to go in with the same mascara from earlier and just apply that to my bottom lashes. 
And I actually wanna let the first coat dry and then apply a second coat because I actually noticed that a lot of the um, doughy makeup looks, they will have kind of clumpy eyelashes for their bottom lashes, so. For lashes, I'm gonna be using these little Maohua lashes that I got from Amazon. I think that they would be very suitable for this look. The lash glue I'll be using today is also from Mestyle. It's the D Up Super Fit Lash Glue. And it's like a brush on tip. This is my favorite kind. So for lips, I really want to try these juicy lasting tints from the brand Romand, also from Yes Style. And I got two different shades. Um, this one is called 23 Nucadamia, and then this one is called Pomelo Skin, I think. I think for this look, I'm feeling the pinker one. Let's open it up. Oh my god, it smells so good, you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna apply just a bit to the center of my lip to start and blend out with my finger. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. And I wanted to go on top of that lip color with the Style Nanda Plumping Lips in the shade Rosy. Oh my god, I really hope it's those juicy bombs. Oh my gosh, it is. I'm so excited to try this. <gasps> I've been wanting to try like a juicy gloss balm for a really long time and this color looks stunning. So let's pop her on. This product actually has a little bit of a minty effect that I can feel on my lips. I actually want to add a little bit more dimension to the lips and we're actually going to be doing that with some eyeshadow. So I'm taking this matte shadow palette from Romand and I'm going to be taking this dark mauve shade here with my finger and just applying that to the center of my lip. So pretty much done with the makeup, I'm actually going to go in with some finishing and touches. I didn't actually pick up a powder from style, so I'll be using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder to kind of mattify my face a little bit in certain areas. I'm using a little triangle sponge and just patting that over the makeup. I'm liking this a lot more. I'm gonna go back in with the brow pencil and just define my eyebrows a little bit more. So this is the finished look. This is my take on doing makeup. I think it turned out so cute. I feel like such a doll. Thank you so much again to YesStyle for sponsoring this video. Pretty much all of the products that I use are from them. They're just the best place to get your makeup and your skincare from East Asian brands. Yeah, if you're interested in trying or purchasing beauty products from East Asia, I highly recommend going on YesStyle. Just browse their site a little bit. I'm sure you're gonna find something that you love. Yeah, I hope you guys like this look. If you try it out, don't forget to send it to me or tag me in it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.